a lot of them. Wow, Capote. Where was this? In Palm Springs, at his house in Palm Springs. It took me a long time to get him to do that, Peter Fonda. This is the last picture taken of Oh my Hawaii. gosh. Yeah, that's on my blog, you should read it. It's at the Biltmore. He's right right favorite, after this, they, sh they shot him. He's my favorite guy ever. Oh, you should read on the blog. This is the last photo of him. I've yep. seen this before. Yep. You shot it. You were there. Yep. I was right in front of him. But then when he was... And then he, he went back this way, walked off to the kitchen. And it was just chaos, pandemonium. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's the one we rejected. Michael Jackson. So I went to, I knew his manager. I worked with Freddie DeMann before when I was creative director at United Artists Records. But I just saw him. He said, okay, come on, we got a new album. We nobody likes it. He says, well, here's what we got. And he showed me the album cover. And it was pretty lame. It was just like, I think he was like, in sort of kids clothes. It was like an ad for Sears pajamas or something. It wasn't that great. I said, well, this isn't very good. I want him to look like this is it. Like he's Frank Sinatra already, you know, yeah. entering the stage at, at Las Vegas. The manager was just, wasn't really impressed, you know, just sat there. All of a sudden, behind the drapes, I hear this little squeaky voice, goes, I like it. The only difference was he wanted white socks. Mm. So I said, well, when you get to shoot this, get some loafers. We're going to roll up your pants so you can see the white socks like Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly in American Paris had loafers with white socks so he could see the socks, you know, so he could see his feet move. I wanted him to have some body attitude, you know, just not just stand there, because when he dances, he has all kinds of attitude, body attitude. Got a print made and then airbrushed around the socks to make them glow more, be stronger. So then he, that just became his look, you know, for everything he socks did in black and white. Loafers. And black and the tux, variations on the tux, stylized some more and more. That's me and that's Francis. You and Francis Ford Coppola right here? Yeah, another Hitchcock. Looks like Martin Sheen. It is, when he was very young. I did that for Bizarre. And this is Bill Cosby. What's he doing? I, I've got all these people, and I, we ask them what their favorite place is, and we photograph them there. Oh, this is Jack Lane. Ah. His dog's got it. excited about him. It's Johnny Mathis. Johnny Mathis. I got him to hold this. I didn't think he, I didn't know if he'd get it or not. Yeah. <laughs> but he did care. Liberace. It's just John Cale for an album cover. There's Joe DiMaggio. Joe DiMaggio. This is an amazing photograph. Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Is that Elvis? Yeah. Elvis Elvis? Elvis Elvis. And Roche, wow. Damn. Gosh, everyone is so young. <laughs> it just is it's crazy seeing him like this. And this is me taking that picture of Andy Warhol. You always had a camera on you, it seems like. Yeah, I got one when I was seven for selling greeting cards door to door. And what was it about photography that you loved so much? Well, you're capturing some, a piece of history for one, and then, and, I, and also, I can visualize and do this fast. I don't really need to take a lot of shots. I can sort of see what I want, because it's designed. Yeah. All the pictures are designed. And when you were growing up, was branding um, a thing? Did that even... Well, it's, it's all, that? branding's always existed. It just became sort of part of the conversation. You know, if somebody had to identify, somebody had to make something out of creating a simple logo, make it a bigger deal, you know. And then, and then when you do get into it, there's a lot more that it is because it's, it's, it's awareness. You've got to create a product that somebody wants and then you've got to make people aware of it. And so that becomes all of what it's all about, you know. And maintaining quality of the perception that, it, that the product is. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to sell on brand something that's not very good. What were your favorite movies to work on? Looking back and seeing, I mean, Apocalypse is really good. This was a good one, Goonies. The Goonies with all the different letters, yeah. type faces. Well, they represented movies that everybody who made that movie had been in. What about uh, Raiders? Oh, Raiders wasn't a problem. Like, we just, I, I knew where he was going with it. Yeah. So uh, this is what he wanted, Pulp Fiction. He wanted something pulpy? Yeah, well, no, when he described the concept to me, I knew what the concept was. was it was going to be like a Pulp Fiction thing, so that's what we did. What do they call them now? Indiana they, Jones. Yeah, I think the I doesn't work. The capital I. Yeah. This is pretty ugly. Yeah, the first one was just Raiders, right? Yeah, it was this, and this just stands out. It's like all got shape and it works together. Now we have the I, which that's just kind of awkward. How was it working with Jurassic Park? Um, we went on and on and on. 
that I just whipped up something myself. I took a typeface, cut it out, I've squeezed it on a Xerox machine, pasted it all together, sent it off to him for one of the presentations. One of, one of the criteria was to make it a badge so that it could be merchandised easier. Yeah. He says you can put on a hat, you can put on anything. They just pre do them, pre print them, pre them, Oh, that's why he was out of shape. Yeah. And you really don't have opinions because you can't sell it if you have an opinion. If you, if you yeah. go into a walk and go, this is really crap, well, you're not going to do it. You know, what makes it, what makes it memorable is what it's attached to, it's the movie.